let's discuss about different malpresentation so the most common malpresentation the patient has is occipital posterior and the most common malpresentation is breach apart from this there could be transverse lie we will be discussing all those in this chapter so in occipital posterior position as we discuss most commonly it is right occipital posterior in right occipital posterior often the engaging diameter that you get is sub occipital frontal engaging diameter is sub occipital frontal when you examine these patients there is sub umbilical flattening there is sub umbilical flattening which is associated moving ahead with the mechanisms of labor that can happen with this yes so majority of these babies will have a long anterior rotation usually they have a long anterior rotation and they deliver by vaginal delivery so if you have occipital posterior that does not mean cesarean section very important point babies often have a long anterior rotation and they deliver vaginally this is often associated with gynecoid type of pelvis gynecoid type of pelvis next you have the short posterior rotation and babies can even deliver as face to pubis delivery they can even deliver as face to pubis delivery face to pubis delivery is associated with anthropoid type of pelvis even this is a one liner that you get which pelvis do you get face to pubis delivery anthropoid type of pelvis sometimes they get arrested at the level of ischial spine after a short anterior rotation even they can be arrested at the level of ischial spine ischial spine this is known as deep transverse arrest deep transverse arrest and the delivery in this deep transverse arrest is always by cesarean section question gives you deep transverse arrest your answer is cesarean section so these are the possible mechanisms of labor so mostly they will rotate anteriorly and deliver as as a normal vaginal delivery often seen with gynecoid type of pelvis or they can deliver as face to pubis delivery after a short posterior rotation seen in anthropoid type of pelvis and given they can get arrested at ischial spine known as deep transverse arrest and this is seen in which type of pelvis it is associated with android type of pelvis android type of pelvis so students please note question gives you occipital posture that does not always mean vaginal delivery it often takes a long time to rotate anteriorly so you are going to wait and watch in cases of occipital posterior position it's not any instruments or augmentation or cesarean that you directly do we usually wait and watch for the labor to progress so tell me the answers to these one liners which pelvis is associated with occipital posterior position occipital posterior position is associated with android pelvis persistent occipital posterior or direct occipital posterior is associated with anthropoid type of pelvis again face to pubis delivery is associated with anthropoid type of pelvis next moving ahead with transverse lie so in transverse lie the presentation that you get is shoulder presentation so it is shoulder presentation with the denominator as acromion so shoulder is presenting with the denominator as acromion how will you manage transverse lie antenatally patient comes to you you are going to again reassess the patient at 36 weeks if still it is transverse lie then you go ahead with external cephalic version which is usually done by 37 weeks patient has come to you with transverse lie in labor your answer is cesarean section 
patient has come to you with neglected shoulder neglected shoulder is basically there is obstructed labor in transverse life and baby is already dead there is death of the baby as well again management cesarean section so next is blow so once you have a completely flexed head, what you get as presenting part is vertex. When you have a completely extended head, you get face, you have partial extension, you get bro. In bro, so basically attitude is that of partial extension, the engaging diameter. Very important in the engaging diameter in bro is mento vertical. It is mento vertical. And this mento vertical diameter is 14 centimeters. Is there any mechanism of labor? There is no mechanism of labor. If it is bro, bro means always cesarean section. So in bro, always the mechanism is cesarean section. No mechanism of labor, you have to deliver by cesarean section. Next, you have phase. In phase, the most common cause for phase is anencephaly. Face presentation, most common causes anencephaly. Attitude, this usually happens in completely extended position. When it is in complete extension, complete flexion, you get vertex. Complete extension, it is face. The engaging diameter is SMB, submentobrachmatic, which is 9.5 centimeters. Usually, face is associated with platypeloid type of pelvis. Platypeloid type of pelvis. Can face deliver normally? It depends on the position. If you have mento anterior, face is in mento anterior position, you go for vaginal delivery. When it is mento posterior, then it is always delivered via cesarean section. Mento anterior, vaginal delivery, mento posterior via cesarean section. Next, let's go into the most common malpresentation that is breach. So, you know the incidence of breach at term is 3 to 4 percentage. If you remember one value, just remember it as 4 percentage. The most common cause of breach is prematurity. So, the types of breach include extended breach, which is also known as frank breach. Frank breach. Next, you have flexed breach. Flexed is also known as complete breach. Flexed or complete breach. Third, you have footling breach, which is a type of incomplete breach. Among this, footling breach is that type of breach which is associated with maximum risk of cord prolapse. If they ask you which type of breach is associated with maximum risk of cord prolapse, type of breach associated with maximum risk of cord prolapse. So, among the, all the types of breach, this footling breach has maximum risk of cord prolapse and always we go with cesarean section. Extended breach is commonly seen in primary gravida. Flex breach is more commonly seen in multi gravida. Yes, primary and multi gravida. So, for the delivery of breach, again, when you have breach, you again reassess the patient by 36 weeks. Now, how all can we deliver? We have various mechanisms. So, antenatally, if you detect you are going to reassess again at 36 weeks. At 37 weeks, initially we try for external cephalic version. ECV means external cephalic version. It looks something like this. So you are trying to turn the baby across the mother's abdomen itself externally. So this is your external cephalic version. If ECV is successful, then you can go for normal delivery. So ECV, if it is successful, You can go for a normal vaginal delivery. If ECV fails, then now you have two options. You have one option of going for assisted breech vaginal delivery. You have assisted breech vaginal delivery 
and the other option is cesarean section. What all do we do in assisted breech vaginal delivery? Often comes as a question the various maneuvers that we do. So, in assisted breech vaginal delivery, we have various maneuvers. So, initially we don't do anything. We allow the baby to deliver on its own till you see the umbilicus. No touch till umbilicus. So, once if you see that, then you have extended legs. The maneuver that is used is Pinard's maneuver. They will ask these one-liners. Pinard's maneuver, extended leg, where you give pressure on the popliteal fossa so as to flex and deliver the leg. If you have extended arm, you go for Lausette's maneuver. Lossets, you turn the baby through 180 degrees so as to deliver the arms. Extended leg, pinards, extended arm, Lossets maneuver. For next to deliver the head, we have three maneuvers. One is burn Marshall maneuver, Mauricio Smellini technique and Piper's forceps. So, burn Marshall technique looks something like this. Baby is held at the angle and it is swung in an arc across the mother's abdomen. It can come as an image-based question. Mauricio Smellini maneuver, you keep two fingers on the malar eminence and then the other hand is kept over the neck finger over the nape of neck and on either sides you put the finger just like this and you are going to give a malar flexion and shoulder traction this is your Mauricio smelly weed technique finally even you can use the forceps the name of the forceps is piper's forceps they can ask you an all except question from this, which among the following is not used. So you can, you should know that these are the main maneuvers that is used. Again, this is external cephalic version as we discussed. ECE is usually performed by 37 weeks. These are the contraindications to do an external cephalic version. Suppose patient is in labor, ruptured membrane, big baby, small baby, IUGR, macrosomia, distress in the baby, contracted pelvis, oligohydramnios, structural problems of the uterus, placenta previa, multiple pregnancy, previous cesarean. Among this previous cesarean is only a relative contraindication. Again, questions have come from this. You should be aware of the contraindications. Yes. So, if there are any problems, contraindications for vaginal delivery, Finally, again, the final management is going to be cesarean section. So, these are the factors which favor cesarean section for breech delivery. Yes. So, in this chapter, we saw that the most common malposition is right occipital posterior. Most common malpresentation is breech. We saw the delivery of right occipital posterior. Most commonly, we go for vaginal delivery where you have to wait and watch because it will rotate anteriorly, long anterior rotation. Apart from this, there can be phase to bibis delivery in case of your anthropoid pelvis, deep transverse arrest in case of your android pelvis where you proceed with cesarean section. If the baby's head is fully extended, you are going to get phase. If it is meant to anterior, go for vaginal delivery, meant to posterior cesarean section. The engaging diameter is submento brachmatic. When you have a partially extended head, there is bro as the presenting part where the diameter is mento vertical 14 cm, longest diameter whose management is always cesarean section. Transverse lie if you get a baby, again you are going to reassess at 36 weeks. By 37 weeks you try for external cephalic version. If ECV comes in labor, answer is cesarean section. It is So in breach we learn the various maneuvers which is important. Extended legs, you have Pinard's maneuver, extended arm, you have Lossett's maneuver. For the delivery of the head, you have three maneuvers. Burn Marshall, Mauricio Smellivy technique and also your Piper's forces. So, these are the various maneuvers associated with assisted breech vaginal delivery.